Scientists and researchers have banged their brains together, trying to determine if the dead could ever return from the grave. It hasn't happened yet, but don't lose hope, zombie fans. When the world belongs to the living dead, it's gonna be because a fan of The Walking Dead decided to make a zombie just to prove a point. When that moment happens, you'll be glad you watched and shared this video describing the 10 best places on Earth to survive the zombie apocalypse. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to CBR for more cool videos like this one. Santorini Island. Greece. In the corners of comic book stores, heated debates regarding a zombie's ability to swim have happened. Many rules have been created on the undead, but how and even if zombies can move underwater is still undecided. So take no chances and get to an island. If you're near Athens, Greece, grab a boat and make the 9 hour trip to Santorini Island. Rated as one of the best island resorts in the world, this mountainous island will let you live in the lap of luxury while you watch the world burn. Plus, you'll have cellars full of wine to drink away your sorrows. The only bad part? The island is still an active volcano, though the last major eruption was almost 4,000 years ago, one of the largest recorded eruptions in history actually, and potentially responsible for sinking the lost city of Atlantis. Hole in the Wall House, Utah. If water's not your thing, but you want to keep some of the comforts of home, the Hole in the Wall House in Moab, Utah might be a good place to hide. The 5,000 square foot abode is carved into the sandstone under the mountains and has 14 rooms, a fireplace, and a bathtub built into the floor. Surrounded by nothing but sand and rocks, you should be able to see any potential threats coming from miles away. Built in the 50s and 60s by Albert and Gladys Christensen, the roadside attraction has several amenities you might need, including mountain traversing vehicles and a gas station nearby. There's also a zoo, so if the animals are still alive, you can slaughter them for food, assuming they haven't returned from the dead, creating a zombie zoo which might need to be dealt with before settling in. Korowai Tree Houses, Indonesia. Zombies come in all forms, but most forms of media agree that they aren't great climbers. It took thousands just to climb a wall in World War Z, so it seems likely that they won't touch you at the top of a giant tree house. The Korowai tribe from West Papua, Indonesia are known to build extravagant tree houses up to 35 meters, 114 feet above the ground. Designed to hold a dozen people, the latter is intended to shake while you climb so the people above know when they have an unwanted visitor. While it seems an ideal place to avoid being devoured, Korowai people have little contact with the outside world and have been known to practice um, cannibalism. Ensure the area is clear before moving in, or the zombies might not be the only people wanting to eat your brain. 1970s Underground Home What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, even a zombie attack. In a city filled with gigantic buildings, you'd think Las Vegas, Nevada would be a perfect hideout. Casinos were designed to keep people in, so it'll be hard to keep a hoard of zombies out. There is one great place in the desert though, maybe the best yet, and you can buy it for about $2 million. Beneath a two-story home in Vegas sits a 15,200 square foot basement designed to survive the apocalypse, complete with food and water for a year. Decked out in 1970s decor, it has jacuzzis, putting greens, and a lighting system that can make it appear as day or night, including twinkling stars. There isn't much of a downside here except for the ugly interior, though if the world's collapsing outside, maybe a pink kitchen is just what you need inside. Towers of Svaneti, Georgia. Based off appearance alone, it would seem the people who lived at the base of the Caucasus mountain range knew how to prepare for an invasion. The remote town of Svaneti, Georgia, near the border of Russia, is a wonderful place to avoid the living dead, if you don't mind the mess. Built over 10 centuries ago, the remains of a defensive village built during the Middle Ages will protect you, assuming the zombies can even find you. The town does not have a lot of supplies though, so pack all the snacks you can find, because the closest grocery store is hundreds of miles away. Some of the buildings are starting to fall down, which could be an issue, but the green landscapes will greet you each morning, a perfect complement to a cup of coffee, assuming you remember to bring some. Bank of Georgia Headquarters, Georgia. If the remoteness of the Svaneti Towers makes you lonely, head several hundred miles inland and you'll end up in the capital city of Georgia, Tbilisi. You'll find many examples of Russian brutalist architecture, but none stands out more than the Bank of Georgia Headquarters. Resembling a Jenga tower, it was built in the 1970s as home to the Ministry 
history of highway construction. The building has 18 stories, though it's hard to tell by looking at it. The dizzying array of windows gives you perfect line of sight to see oncoming attacks, and the fertile foliage underneath is perfect for planting food, allowing you to become self-sustaining. Be sure to memorize the layout of the building upon arrival. Should your position ever become compromised, you're gonna get lost and eaten if you don't know which corridor leads outside. National Audiovisual Conservation Center, Culpeper, Virginia. Everyone has seen enough movies to be decently prepared for a zombie outbreak, only then there's the sobering reality when one is gnashing its teeth in your face. If you're a film buff and want to go down deep where the zombies don't dwell, make your way to Virginia and find the National Audiovisual Conservation Center. Opened in 1969, the 400 foot long, 140,000 square foot facility was built to withstand a nuclear attack. Literally. It includes lead lined shutters and 12 inch thick concrete walls and is surrounded by a barbed wire fence. Near the end of the 1980s, the building began transitioning to a regular government building, including storage of rare older films created on highly flammable nitrate film stock. Meaning, if you get bored and you don't have a cigarette dangling from your mouth, you can watch your favorite movies until the backup generators run out. Peña Palace, Portugal. When the world falls apart, there'll be less people around to argue when you call yourself royalty. Though, a lot more people trying to eat you. Win some, lose some. If you want to literally be the king of your castle, the Peña Palace in central Portugal is one of the coolest and safest places. Plus, you get to wake up every day pretending you're in a fairy tale, complete with the grim lesson of what happens when nature strikes back. The castle is giant, one of the biggest in Europe, and has multiple watchtowers allowing for surveillance of the surrounding areas. On the downside, it's painted bright yellow and red, possibly attracting attention of brainless brain eaters. Though, it'd be easy to let others know where you are. Just tell them to head towards the gaudiest castle they can find. Drusba Holiday Center Hall, Ukraine. Looking like a UFO on beachfront property, the Dresba Holiday Center Hall is a great place to protect yourself from certain death in the face of the population turning into zombies. Located on the northern coast of the Ukraine in the city of Dresba, the building opened as a spawned resort in 1984. It was built into a cliff above a beach, with access routes being built above and below. A glass tube runs across the woods serving as top entrance, allowing you to have two escape routes or only one entrance should you choose to cut off access. Being a resort, it should have plenty of amenities to make your stay as enjoyable as it could be, given the life-threatening monstrosities all around your new 180,000 square foot circular abode. Wiltshire Secret Underground City, England. What better way to hide than in a secret underground city? Located 100 feet under the city of Wiltshire, England, this bunker was built in the 1950s and unknown to the public till it was decommissioned in 2004. The giant sprawling complex is 35 acres large and could viably hold thousands of survivors assuming you had enough food and water to keep everyone from turning on each other. It has everything you need, including water powered generators, heating and cooling systems, laundry facilities, and even a pub. It's been closed for some time, and access to the underground lake that provides water has been closed, so you'll need some mechanically inclined people in your group. If you make it there, you should be able to live comfortably for a very long time, assuming you don't run into the second most dangerous aspect of a zombie apocalypse, the surviving humans. If, when, the zombies eventually take over, you should be prepared. Get a go bag in your car full of bottled water, snacks, and fresh underwear, because you don't want to dying dirty ones. Do you have a place we didn't mention? A fortress that you and your friends are planning on occupying? Let us know in the comments below.